Look, maybe that's how you start a video. With a napkin, you wipe my nose. I don't know how you wipe but you're white. That's gross. We're married, though, whatever. Your snot's my snot. I love you. Oh, wow. Hold my snot, please. Thank you. That's true love right there. I brushed my teeth by accident with his toothbrush. He came happen. freaked out. I don't know about freaked out. I was just like, that's my toothbrush. Uh -huh. Why are you using my toothbrush? You could be using yours. I didn't know. Oh yeah, what have you learned in marriage? So I asked him, what has, what has he learned in marriage? But he's asking me now, so. I flipped the switch. So? You, you say one, then I'll say one, we'll go back and forth. What have I learned? Oh, I'll go first. I the most one. obvious one. Oh, go ahead. Communication is so important. So yeah. important. But not just like communicating, how you communicate. Because you can communicate to somebody in a way that they don't like to be communicated to and they won't listen to you or they'll get defensive. So learning to communicate in a way that the other person wants to be communicated to, that's really important. Would you agree? Yeah. Yeah. I've learned that sometimes, <laughs> this probably goes for just all girls, but when girls are venting, you don't want advice you just want to be heard and sympathized with. Yeah. And my job is to not try and help you with those things every single time unless you specifically ask me for help. Sometimes you just want a shoulder to lean on. Yeah. So I need to be more sensitive and just hear what you're saying and sympathize with you and not try and fix the problem for you. That's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes we just want to vent. Like we're having a bad day. We just want to like vent or we just want to cry and we just want to be heard don't tell us how to fix it let us figure it out for ourselves unless it's like life or death you know but I don't know this shadow it's not the lighting um I don't know what have I learned I don't know what I don't know this talking so good into 
a new environment. So I need to express to him like, okay, I need help with this or can you do this differently that, you know. And I'm a guy, right? For the most part, we're clueless. Yeah. That's just how it is. Um, like, we're just clueless when it comes to understanding women. I just didn't want to be like annoying. Like, can you do it this way or can you do this? But and I guess I'm once, not sensitive, so like, but I guess tell me those things, you know. I guess like once I tell you, that guy is driving. The that guy is driving like he's drunk. Yeah, be careful. Yeah. I guess once I tell him once or twice, he will know eventually, and that way I'm not repeating myself in the future. So I just need to be more vocal, more vocal of what I need. But when you do say something, would you say I'm good or bad about making those changes? He's really good. Like, you know, right you know the little towel, like, on the kitchen that goes over the oven? You know, that little hanging thing? The oven towel. Like, he was putting it all bunched up, like, a dirty rag. It looked like a dirty rope. It was a rope. Because in my mind, it was just hanging. I'm like, who's going to see it? Because nobody's at the house, so why does it matter? But she cares. So, out of respect, I hang it the way she likes because she cares, even though I don't care, right? It's still going to happen again about, eventually. It probably will, but yeah. then you'll say something again and I'll be like, oh yeah, that's right. Like the shower curtain thing. And the closet hey, door. And the closet door. How many times has that been open? I see it open all the time still. And she has a weird phobia of like doors and curtains being open. I don't like things open. Like I don't, I don't understand that because my thought is, what if there's a murderer hiding behind said door? Please cop. Yeah, he's gonna flip through there though. What if there is a murderer behind that door, shower curtain, or a clown costume, right? And I can't see because you wanted that thing closed and then I'm brushing my teeth and he jumps out with a knife and stabs me in the back. See where I'm coming from here? So is that why you keep it open? That's why I keep it's it open. I want to know what's behind every door. It's not right? because you're clueless. No, I want to know what's behind every door. Like, I don't like doors being shut because I like to be able, like, it's a self-defense thing. I like to be aware of my surroundings. So if I have to open a door and a murderer is like, surprise! So why don't we just sleep with the house surprised. door wide open? We could. Well, the bedroom door is different because we lock that at night. <laughs> Right? So a murderer would have to get through the door. And when I'm sleeping, I can't be aware of my surroundings, right? That's different. Like when I'm awake though, I can hear all the noises. I know what's coming through where, especially in the house. Like the house echoes sound. Like we can really hear everything kind of throughout the house. Like I can hear you in the room, but I'm on the other side of the house in the bathroom. Okay. Like I can hear you, oh yeah. So I'm aware of like everything that's going on around me, but when I'm asleep, that's a different story. Yeah, I'm done eating this. That's why we have a shepherd. Yeah, she will let us know. She did last night. Yeah, like last night we heard, or Lana heard some noises and she warned us and then he was able to get up. But, yeah. I did a perimeter check. Yeah. But yeah, like I've been learning that I need to like communicate better. I can't expect people to think like me because we're two different people. So I think we're getting used to each other. Yes. And then once we know our pet peeves and what we like and what we don't like, it'll be smooth sailing after that. I think the main be one, it becomes like second nature. Yeah. yeah. I think the main one is just learning how each of us likes to be communicated to. That's a big one. Cause like I'm big on communication, but specifically like how I'm communicated to and how I communicate to you. Last night we talked about like, hey, like, I would like you to do this differently. Not like you need to change, but it's like I need you to communicate this to me differently so that when we talk, we don't get frustrated at each other. Yeah. Right? So it's just like learning how to communicate to each other that's important. Yeah, not going all day angry. That's not okay. Either. That's not okay. Yeah. I mean, I get like taking an hour or two to cool down. That's perfectly fine. I'm, you know, I think that's super important so you're not seeing mean things off the bat. Like right when you're feeling all these emotions, it's okay to take a few hours, a couple hours, and yeah, don't get angry like the whole day. That's not, especially when you're married, you don't need that drama throughout the whole day. It will break you down. Also, pro tip for married couples, get a king size bed right away. <laughs> I slept yeah. so much differently last night. Oh yeah. Yeah, so we haven't been able to sleep in the same bed for like 
five, six days because, probably five days, because we both are like violent sleepers and we roll around a lot and we move around a lot. Oh yeah. And it just wakes the other person up consistently. So we had to get a king size bed and this new bed is awesome because She'll be on one side of the bed and I'll be jumping up and down on the other side and you really can't feel it shake too much on the other side of the bed. Yeah, it's cool because we were, I had like a, what is that thing called, babe? The, a dinner tray? A dinner tray on the bed and I had like water and he was like jumping up, like moving crazy and the water did not spill. Yeah. So it was really cool. And yeah, we decided to get a king mattress because I toss and turn so much and I wake up in the middle of the night to use the restroom. So that was like a must have. Like that's not even a splurge, that's like a necessity and yeah. for couples. And also in the comment section, if you can tell me exactly how many Takis I've eaten in this video, I'll be impressed. Uh -uh. I need some accountability here. I feel like I've eaten a hundred of these. You know what we should do also, babe? Huh? When we reach 5,000 subscribers on this channel, we should do a giveaway. A bag of Takis. No, something better. Uh, a lifetime supply of Takis. No. But yeah, guys, once we reach 5,000 subscribers, we're gonna do something really cool for one of you guys, or maybe for a few of you. Maybe like three winners. Um, you gotta take this one. Once we hit 5,000 subscribers, we'll do something really cool on our channel. Um, we'll ship you out like a gift. We'll announce the winner, and we'll announce what the um, prize is. So make sure you subscribe and like our videos. Make sure to comment. We love like interacting with you guys and just hearing what you guys have to say. Like a lot of you have been so kind and sweet and encouraging with our new channels. So we want to post more because of you. And it's Some just, of you guys are hilarious too. Like how? Like they just say really funny things or they point out funny things in the video that oh, I yeah. didn't realize was funny and then I'll go back and watch it. I'm like, that is funny. Yeah. Yeah, we have a sense of humor. We're never gonna take life too serious. I don't care how old I get, I'm always gonna have fun. I'm 32 and I am still like a 17 year old at heart, guys. And I'm 28 and I'm still like 12. Can you believe he's four years younger than me, guys? Like, look how young I look. She looks younger than I do. Mm -hmm. What else? She's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Stunning. Stunning. Beautiful. Beautiful.